Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now this is going to be the start of what is actually a highly requested series. Um, it's been requested all over the all over the shop really. Um, and that is Java tutorials. So lots of people obviously come into Minecraft modding with the idea that they will learn Java through modding. Now if any of you know anything about modding, you would know you can't do that. It's, it's just not feasible. Um, and people are generally too lazy to learn Java. Um, either that or they don't really care and think they can just uh, get away with not learning Java. It, it doesn't work like that. So this series is sort of going to be teaching the primary concepts of Java that you would need for modding or not for modding. If you don't want to use it for modding, that's perfectly fine too, because I will be teaching non-modding related things as well. So obviously to use Java, you have to go ahead and install it. So we'll just be doing that in this uh, tutorial. And we're gonna do that through the site adoptium.net. Now, obviously you could download an official uh, Oracle JDK. Um, however, the general, um, yeah, just the general recommended thing to do is to use Adoptium since theirs are open source and no sign up or anything like that. So for these tutorials, we're going to be using JDK 17. There's no valid reason to use anything lower than that nowadays. So we'll just install the LTS release of JDK 17. Uh, it may be 18 or whatever when you are watching this. If so, just download the latest. Uh, Java is backwards compatible. So let's just hit download and you'll see that instantly brings us a file pop up here. So we're just going to go ahead and save that. Um, I'll put it on my desktop. So plonk it in there and it will just take a few seconds to download it's obviously quite big since it's downloading the whole jdk so we can go ahead and close this now since we don't need it and you'll see we have an msi here this will obviously be different on linux or mac but i'm sure you can figure that out and we just need to double click it here we go and go through the installer so we'll hit, hit next and here is actually where you want to change some things. So you want to make sure that all three of these are installed uh, with the entire feature on the local hard drive. So you just want to do that with all three of these first ones and you can ignore this third one. It's just uh, some old, old thing you don't need anymore. So we can just go ahead and hit next after we've done that and you can start installing it. Now, I do already have it installed so I'm not going to actually do that um, but once you have it installed you should be able to uh, I'm just going to cancel that that's fine uh, once you have it installed you should be able to open up terminal uh, maybe or just command prompt if you don't have terminal of course and you should be able to just write java dash version and you should see you have the open jdk version 17. if you don't have this just go ahead and restart your pc and reopen up uh, command prompt and you should be able to see that you have the correct java version so that's it you now have java installed so in the next tour we'll be covering uh, installing an ide so that we can actually code some java so i'll see you guys then goodbye